Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Mythic Game Productions back with a new series. Now, if you've guessed it, by the billboard, Mythical Tutorials, what does that stand for? Yes, a new tutorial series by Mythic Games, moi, yours truly, teaching you the ins and outs of a gem editor fart. Now, what we will be going over in the first episode is basic beginner stuff and then as we progress through the series we'll be going into more even more basic stuff and then more immediate stuff a bit more advanced and then after you guys are well knowledged you can request stuff to learn and I'll teach you anything that I can possibly teach now in the far future if this tutorial series does well and you guys do truly like it we will do how to builds teaching you all different types of mapping techniques uh, how to do things such as turn cut entity trenches those ones you get in the gem editor and turn them into awesome custom trenches made by you the user and the player now without further ado I hope you guys all enjoy and uh, let's get on with business. So, hey guys, when you first open the gem editor by Steam, or if you're not on Steam, you'll be prompted with a screen just like this. Now, of course, many beginners are like, well, um, what do I do? Uh, I, d I have no idea and then they start going and searching for tutorials and what they're supposed to do be doing so here's a quick tutorial to teach you guys what to do is if you just press escape on your keyboard or uh, laptop or whatever device that you're playing Man of War on just hit escape boom and then it brings you a prompt box map editor menu which says save save as load and new now of course exit you don't want to press exit because you've just loaded up the editor and you uh, just just stay away from that button. <laughs> now, of course, there is another way to open this menu. Now, if we hit escape again, it gets rid of it. And we just go up to map untitled just in the right hand top corner and press it. And boom, there we go. We got another menu popping up again, same one. And we just, what we want to do is just hit new. And of course, they'll give you a prompt box for a confirm. Of course, all unsaved data will be lost. But are you sure? Well, of course you're sure because you have no new data. So uh, let's just press yes. So of course, I am using the Star Wars Galaxy War mod. I do spend my time time on that mod a lot. So uh, then you'll be met with another prompt box that says set up landscape. Now, of course, it says polygon, triangle size, uh, oh, side, sorry. Uh, texture, size, bitmap, terrain, and map size. Now, of course, the other two sections you don't want to touch. That That's for more advanced um, players of the gem editor. So the main one you want to focus on is the map size. Now, of course, the map size is the most important as it determines your actual map size. So, of course, your default one is always be 200 by 200. And if you hit this little hour here, it'll drop down into a box that lets you pick three others. Of course, 300 by times 300, uh, 400 by 400, 500 by 500. They get that's the biggest you can go. Um, if you want to go any bigger, it probably will take a lot on uh, strain on your device, depending on how good it is. And of course, you just, we're just going to stick with our 200 by 200. Uh, we're just going to hit OK here. So, of course, it loads straight away. Um, and, of course, now what do you do? Well, first of all, I'm just going to run you through the three basic modes of the gem editor. Now, if you press F1 on your keyboard, laptop, any device, um, F1 brings us up the head HUD. And if you guys don't know what HUD stands for, it just means heads up display. Now, of course, Many of you might not know that. Uh, of course, we all have to learn stuff like that. And uh, now, down now you know. So uh, this is the mode that you mostly be playing your missions that you create and your maps, and you'll be able to control your units this way. 
and basically blow, blow you get to blow things up in this in this mode so this is f1 remember that now f2 is where the fun and magic happens now of course as you saw the hud disappeared and now we have a right hand side toolbar now the toolbar is where you go for all your mapping needs and of course you're gonna be placing stuff down and things like that and you get to play with some of the other tools but we'll get into that just in a second now f3 is where the magic of the maps are brought to life where it, where it's all brought to life units scripting events triggers commands explosions just lots of explosions if you want um you can even create your own little stories using this mode here now of course as you see on the little bar here we have a lot more tools than we do in f2 mode now we'll just get into this in a second now let's go back to f2 and let's have a little look at what we can do for a beginning so uh we're gonna drop hit the construction um a segment or a, a category and as you can see i have mass effect now that's another mod i have installed but we're gonna avoid that for now um just to let you guys know that all mods will be linked in the description and we're just gonna choose now yes now we're just gonna choose one of these categories entourage now all these categories you're just gonna want to avoid listen to the mythic <laughs> and we're gonna go down to these ones that do not have a plus sign now these are full entities now let's see now we're gonna scroll wheel to zoom in as well zoom in uh, we're gonna left click to place and right click to deselect now we're just gonna do that again much slower left click and of course now I still have the object so I can place it down again but I don't want to do that what I want to do is right click and of course it gets rid of it so if you guys also want to know a quick a little tip is or info entities stands for OBJ uh, basically an object which those three there are objects created in 3ds max and the current version running now that's replacing 3ds max is Maya and which I use quite a lot it's very fun it's just basically a reskin of 3ds max just name something different but you know what can you do they always like to change things up so uh, if we just write scroll uh scroll wheel to move the bar up and down now how cool is that now and then we just close the category and close the category again all right left click you get to select the object and right click on holding it you get to move it around now you can move it around as fast as you want and you can do everything like that so uh, if you want to delete an object, you can just hit delete on your keyboard and gets rid of it. Banished or move. So, <laughs> if you want to select two objects or multiple objects at the same time, you just left click and you drag like you would do on your desktop. Now you have both entities selected or OBJs or objects uh, selected, and now you can right click to move them around. Now they'll move together. As if there are a couple or <laughs> basically anything like that so here we can move them around separately we can also left left click and hold to, to drag over the top of them and there we go and there we go now we can also delete these at the same time by just hitting delete boom vanished so that gives you a little insight to what you can do with your keyboard commands now, uh, let's, if we press 2, it'll drop us into the toolbar, which is where you'll be doing most of your mapping from, and your textures, terrains, grass, polygons, and colors. So, to start off with height, the height tool, which is your normal selected one, uh, just ignore that little eye, that always pops up every now and then. <laughs> 
So uh, if we left click and hold, we and drag, the ground starts to raise. Now of course it's reversed uh, for lowering the ground. It's right click and dragging, just across. Now or you can left click and raise the ground just like that by multiple clicking. Now, of course, uh, we can do that again for lowering. And there we go. So that's pretty cool. Um, for the softness of the brush, which is what that circle is, uh, we can change it so the train will s soften when it's raised like that. See how it's jagged like that? You can tell the difference there. And then the sharpness, just putting it back all the way at 100%. And of course, we also have a slow and fast bar as well. So the slowness of the brush, as you can see the ground is slowly raising there. And then if you want to do it super fast, boom. Now the great ground has risen really fast. <laughs> so, so it's almost like baking a bun. So the next tool we're going to want to look at is the color palette. Now here we, we have different colors and you can blend colors together like red and blue, uh, stuff like that. And then you can place them down. And uh, multiple colors, just placing them down, going through all the colors, green, blue, light blue, turquoise, stuff like that, and there. And then we get back to red. And as you can see, we also have a bar on the side of the color palette. And if we raise that, that darkens the color. And if we lower it, it lightens the color. So it's just normal, it's just like a normal paintbrush, which is pretty cool. And then we also have the softness and sharpness, the slowness and fastness. And this is your bar. So if you want to punch in two, seven, two, one, one, two, seven, sorry, one, two, seven, one, two, seven, and one, two, seven brings us just back to the normal color that we started off with. And of course, there we go, and we just can get rid of the color. So how cool is that? And basically you can punch in different numbers here, like two, five, two, three, four, uh, keep that one, two, three, two, one, seven, or one, two, seven, and two, three, six, to create pink. And that's pretty cool. So the next tool we're gonna look at is the polygon tool. Now. There is a wireframe, which you can select just by ticking this wee box here. And of course it brings up the wireframe of the polygons across the map. So before I also forget guys, see how the brush changed size there? What we can do is we can also enlarge the brush by just pressing plus and holding it on your keyboard or whatever device you're using. And the same again with minus to make the brush smaller. Now of course we can also have two buttons here that level up level down. Now of course do not touch those unless you want to be experimental but for beginners just do not touch them. What you're gonna want to do is see this level with the zero is just hit the little arrow and it'll drop down a box and it'll give you all these different polygon sizes to mess around with and as you can see it's messing around with the polygons and as we go higher, they do get smaller. And go again. And you kind of get the drift as you go higher. It's just basically like that, so that's pretty cool. So we got all these tools and stuff like that. Now the train is the most complicated. Uh, we won't get too much in this, but it's just basically the default train is ground and then we have let's say water and of course oh, we also yes this is the most important water uh, for anything that's lower than the regular map height will change color now of course there we go and the light blue indicates shallow water and of course we'll get more into that now, the one I must tell you to uh, avoid at the current moment is no pass human as it crashes the game. So just stay away from this tool for the time being until we get more into it. So the next tool we're going to want to go to is our textures. 
as you can see down here there's all these different boxes what we're just going to want to do is press on the left one and bring up this prompt box select file now these are all files of different textures uh, we're just going to want to press um grass and it'll bring you into different grass textures which we can select here gamma o2 and a so there we go so let's select that one there we are now we have a grass texture which we can play with and then for a secondary texture if you want to put a texture on top of this one is dirt because grass and dirt are common together and of course we want to enlarge the brush and we're just going to paint over the grass and of course you can see it changing and if you want to swap this texture because you don't like it let's say for a clay underscore 1b boom there we go it changed automatically you can do that and then if you want to get rid of this texture you just left click and hold to get rid of it and right click and hold to bring it back so that's basically it really um oh so then there's grass and of course i do have a mod that enables me to get cool looking grass we'll link it in the description again we're going to want to lower the brush or shrink the brush and then we're just going to want to grass up this whole area stuff like that now this is pretty cool huh huh this is awesome uh, of course now these are all the tools you've had a look and of course on the grass patterns you have these different patterns so you can have a look through mixed and stuff like that and we have winter which is really white <laughs> surprisingly that actually hurts my eyes <laughs> so um of course you have the softness and how fast you can place the grass as well stuff like that and then if we press three we also have now this is really important do not get rid of the preset auto this is your auto default count, uh, border map border now what we're going to want to do is just left click on this and show map borders is just tech, tick this box and there we are so if you're ever playing in a meta war game you'll be like wow so basically this is the border and what we can do is we can actually select these lines and bring them in now blue is for the unit so anything so the blue line doesn't let any units pass it uh, and the, uh, of course the yellow line is the actual border itself and uh, the green line or the purple line sorry is the camera border now of course why didn't this little white line move is because the you've edited the border preset so in order to have this white line move up is just go double double click or le left click on the auto again it moves up the white line so that's pretty cool so now that we've had a look through most of the tools the last tool is if you press for it is edit faces and items now we will get into this this is for interiors on buildings now we will get into this a little more later on but for now this is been all that I can teach you guys um, <laughs> on this small basic tutorial that I can tell you all basically everything really so in order to get all this stuff you just have to watch this tutorial and there will be more going into um, detail but for now I think this is all the time we have so without further ado I shall say my farewells thank so thank you guys for watching if you guys liked do subscribe and stick around for more tutorials see you all in the next one bye